I work as a tour guide in Berlin and I work with an organization that, which is called the Kvestet Ein. I show basically Berlin from my perspective as a refugee here in Berlin and also I compare the German history uh, or the Berlin history with the war in Syria now since I see some similarities. I go with uh, with the tour in this way first uh, with the checkpoint Charlie. I uh, I tell stories about the checkpoint and then and how it reminds me in the checkpoints in Syria. Uh, the second station I uh, I go and explain about the the wall of Berlin and how the people used to flee uh, from the eastern side to the western side and how it's similar to the people and how they are uh, fleeing from Syria. It took us two, four hours and a half to reach uh, the Greek island, which was called Samos. When we reached a point in the middle of the sea where the distance of, between us and Turkey is the same distance between us and Greece. And basically, wherever you look is just sea. I had a lot of thoughts in my head and I couldn't, I couldn't catch any of them, any of them, any, any of them. But only the thought that I, that I could have catched that this boat is gonna sink and I'm gonna die, definitely. A lot of beds. Mm. There were like over 300 beds. That was mine. Mm. <laughs> and uh, I took this photo. The next station, which is a, a shelter for refugees, just to show, to, just to show an example, of, like how refugees live and uh, tell stories. Also, how I, what was housing for me and what was. Uh, the, uh, the problems of housing for other refugees. The next stop is the Holocaust Memorial of Berlin. And in this stop, I basically show the, the tour, the, the, the people who are attending the tour, how the history is repeating itself. The people in Syria or in any other country, they didn't really learn from this, uh, from, the, from the history of the Holocaust and how the people died. They didn't learn from it, they just did it again. They didn't repeat the history itself again, the bad history that everybody here in Germany is uh, like regretting about or feeling guilty about. But the people in Syria didn't really learn from it, you know, and they, they just did it again. The last stop of my tour is uh, the Wanderburg Gate. It means a lot to me because it was the first thing I saw when I came to Berlin. I never thought that I would see it in person in front of me and I thought that I would just see it in photos but uh, when I saw it I had the feeling that it gave me it gave me really the freedom. Germany still is a nice or a great country for me. For the next three years at least I would love to stay here in Berlin also like to finish my studies but then if Syria is good again and it needs someone to build it I'm very happy to go back and build Syria again. I would go back to Syria when it's just completely safe and that I don't have any danger going there. I do these tours to show the people what is the real war in Syria. The people there still need support and I'm supporting them in this way by telling the stories of, of, of them, from them and from my story also as an example.